Hello everyone, our last topic is textile hygiene products. So, in hygiene application we use textile materials to a great extent where mainly non-oven fabrics are used. So, why non-ovens in hygiene? Because hygiene care products are used for hygiene and health and personal care. The reasons why non-ovens are widely used in hygiene products are because the non-oven fabrics can be engineered depending on the application. So, this hygiene products they have limited life and single use fabric most of the hygiene products are single use fabric and non oven fabrics are durable in nature. So, the properties which make the non oven fabric suitable for the hygiene products are in most of the hygiene products the requirement is that absorption. So, non oven fabrics due to their structure they are excellent in absorption of liquid. So, they are in contact with our body that is why we need the softness most of the products are in contact with our body. So, smoothness is also requirement which non oven can provide stretchability non ovens are stretchable comfort and fit it provides strength which is required in hygiene product and also the double fluid barrier effect allows the moisture to be absorbed and retained. So, it absorb moisture and the moisture is retained within the structure that is the special characteristics which makes the non oven fabric suitable for hygiene products. So, due to its good uniformity, high strength and elasticity, cost effectiveness, stability and tear resistant, opacity and stain hiding power. So, non oven has got stain hiding power and its high breathability. So, non ovens are used widely in hygiene product. So, stain hiding power means the stain it is getting absorbed inside the structure. So, the commonly available hygiene products are diapers, feminine hygiene products, incontinence products, nursing pad, toddlers training pad, wipes, skin cares etcetera. These are the hygiene products. So, we will discuss one by one and their structures, their specific requirements, characteristics requirements and what are the fibers used. So, diapers are mainly of two types one is baby diaper another is incontinence diaper. So, the baby diaper if you see all absorbent hygiene products are designed principally to contain the body fluid such as urine. So, baby diapers main function is to retain the body fluid and the ability to contain the faces 
is also an important attribute in baby diaper and some incontinent products. So, it should be able to contain the faces, this faces should not come out. The diaper should be designed such that the fluid must be readily accepted and distributed and absorbed by the structure that is very important because suppose this is our skin, it is a baby skin and diaper is put here, this is a diaper. body fluid whatever body fluid is coming out it should get transmitted to next layer the next layer and where the body fluid get should get distributed among large area and in the next layer where the absorbent materials are there they can absorb this body fluid uniformly. So, these are the absorbent materials and they absorb uniformly. Otherwise, if the body fluid does not get distributed, it is concentrated in a particular area. The main problem will be that, that in other area the absorbent materials will be will not be used properly and here in particular place the saturation will reach quickly. That is why the distribution layer, the function of distribution layer is very important. So, this distribution is important and then after distribution the structure, the absorbent structure should absorb the fluid. So, there are different layers, the layered constructions and various materials are used to engineer this product depending on the specific performance requirement. The materials are selected depending on the requirement and the skin contact material should be suitable for prolonged intimate use. So, a skin contact material should be soft enough so that it does not create any irritation and uncomfortable sensation. So, the basic principal layers of diapers are the four different layers are used top sheet or facing acquisition and distribution layer, absorbent core and back sheet or outer cover. Now, so this is the skin and here it is a diaper material. The liquid is coming out in the first layer this is skin human body here it is skin. The first layer which is known as top layer, so this is a first layer. It is called top layer. Okay, top sheet sorry, it is a top sheet material. Now, the function of this top sheet is that it should immediately transfer, transmit the liquid to the other layer. It should not absorb the liquid. The next layer is that ADL which is acquisition and distribution layer.
this is the acquisition and distribution layer. Here its function is to absorb the fluid and distribute the fluid in whole area. And the next layer, this is the next layer and this next layer is absorbent core, where it is made of may be super absorbent material SAP super absorbent polymer mixed with the pulp, the fiber pulp. And this is the place where the liquid is retained, it absorbs moisture, it absorbs liquid at high quantity. Here the liquid is retained and outermost layer which is back sheet or outer cover which is impervious layer which does not allow the liquid to come out. So, the liquid is retained in the third layer which is absorbent core. Now, coming to the functions of individual layers and the type of materials used in these layers. This is the layer as I have mentioned, it is a next to the wearer skin and it must be capable to allow the fluid to pass through that without wetting. So, that the wearer should feel dry always. It is important that the fluid is not retained within the this structure and it should get immediately transmitted to the next layer and this layer should be always dry. As these are always in contact with the skin, so softness should be there which is the critical attribute of this layer and the absorption capacity of the layer is should be 0, but its transmission char characteristics is should be very fast. So, the liquid should get transmitted to the other layer without weighting this layer. Second layer it is acquisition and distribution layer where fluid pass through the top sheet into this layer where it is temporarily stored and distributed through capillary action. Because why it is temporarily stored? Because the in the next layer the storage of liquid should be there and it should be spreaded over large area. The reason I have already explained if the capillary action is not proper, the spreading will not take place. In that case, the proper utilization of next layer is not possible. So, to this facilitate maximum utilization of absorbent core structure, as most super absorbent poly polymers SAP can take few moments to fully absorb the fluid. So, if it happens then that particular portion the sap will get saturated remain keeping the sap in other portion dry. So, that is not required that is not the our target. So, the super absorbent polymer along the, the next zone that is the absorbent core area should get saturated evenly. So, in this layer, this layer plays an important role in maintaining the fluid during critical stage. The third layer 
which is absorbent core is a blend of flap pop fiberized flap puff that is a uh, flap pulp pulp is there so fiberized pulp is there along with the mixture of the super absorbent polymer so this pulp and the super absorbent polymer when we mix they help in retaining the urine that is fluid it absorb and retain the fluid so super absorbent polymers main characteristics is that it absorbs huge quantity and retain the fluid within that structure it doesn't allow the fluid to come out from the structure it forms a gel like formation the capacity can be engineered so we can change the capacity depending on the product requirement by changing the proportion so multiple layers of this sap and pulp are used the absorbent core in modern absorbent hygiene products is made of cellulose based absorbent material either rayon viscous rayon or cotton the final layer fourth layer which is known as back sheet or outer cover the function of back sheet is to provide a fluid impervious barrier so that moisture is contained within the structure of the absorbent hygiene core product so it should not allow the moisture to come out so here the very low gauge polyethylene is commonly used the low gauge requirement is due to the flexibility so we need flexible structure and here low gauge is enough because the liquid pressure is not that high as the super absorbent polymer absorbs the liquid and retain within the structure but it should be breathable film so breathable film or non oven layer is sometime used to keep the skin dry so it should it should not be that impervious to the air or moisture vapor so polythene can be made breathable at the film extrusion stage so micro pores are incorporated so breathable polypropylene sheet can be used so here air can pass through but at the same time it will act as fluid barrier if we see the manufacturing process here it's a raw pulp it's crushing after crushing the forming of fiber tissue layer so cotton like fluff is produced through the pulp then in the two sides the tissues are there in the different layers are there then cutting into section and then wrapped into the polyethylene film and non oven fabric and heat sealing and embossing is there cutting in the form of diaper and then a packing so the main pro, uh, the process here is that we have to mix the super absorbent polymer with the that pulp and then the layers of non oven fabric and the polyethylene films are added to that so if you see the composition of baby diaper flap pulps are 
35 percent, super absorbers typically 33 percent, non oven polypropylene 17 percent. So, this flap pulp and super absorber these are actually forming the third layer the absorbing layer and non oven polypropylene it is 17 percent polyethylene film it is outer layer adhesive and elastins are used. Incontinence diapers incontinence is defined as the involuntary loss of solid or liquid stool sufficient enough to result in impaired quality of life for an individual. So, that is the condition where textile material can help in improving the lifestyle. So, it is a distressing and isolating condition. The hygiene products are available. So, this all hygiene products have common performance requirement like the diapers like the dryness, leakage protection, comfort and should prevent skin irritation. So, the four principal functions functional layers are used which are used in diaper here also this layers are used. In addition to this layers there are different material components used like belt, waste elastic, leakage barrier, tape or hooks these are used in addition to the different layers which has been discussed. Glue fastening, elastic pants. So, adult incontinence products typically used the same material as baby diaper, but with different proportion depending on the requirement. Here we can see the flap pulps 62 percent and super absorber is used 12 percent. For baby diaper here super absorbers are used at higher quantity and these are the different combinations. Next is the feminine hygiene products these are feminine care pads are designed to absorb and retain menstrual fluid and other fluids. In addition to the four principles which we have principal layers of any absorbent hygiene products, the pads and panty liners they have some additional requirement which are removable sheet made of siliconized paper. So, that that uh, the sheet will be removed which protect the glue underneath the bottom layer of the, the product. So, average composition of sanitary pads are pulp 48 percent, polyethylene, polypropylene, polyester 36 percent, adhesive 7 percent. These are the rough estimation of different composition. Tampoons are also used. So, modern tampoons are mainly composed of cellulose based absorbent material such as nylon, rayon, cotton and mix of both they are used in tampoons. In most instance the absorbent core is covered by thin smooth layer of non oven fabric or other suitable material making the tampoon easy to insert and remove. Withdrawal cord is used, the tampoon is individually wrapped with the paper wrapper. So, these are for packaging, but here this is one of the 
application of textile material in hygiene product. The wipes is another area. So, in wet wipes we use the paper, tissue or non ovens. Non ovens are nowadays widely used in wipes. So, they are subjected to light rubbing or friction in order to remove the dart liquid from the skin surface or any other surface. So, the consumers want wipes to absorb, retain and release dust or liquid. So, wipes are classified into different categories. This wipes and in all these classes our requirements, basic requirements are same. It should remove and clean the surface. So, the categories are personal care wipe, household and home cleaning wipe and industrial cleaning wipe. And they are manufactured by air jet, spanless, and weightlet system. In personal care wipe, it's a one is cleansing wipe. That's a baby wipe. These are wet wipe used to cleanse the sensitive skin of infants. They are actually saturated with some fluid so, alcohol based alcohol based fluid to clean the surface skin cleansing pads is another example of wipes these are fiber sponges that have been previously soaked with water, alcohol and other additives. So, pre soaked the cleansing pads are available, there are different types of cleansing pads. So, pain relief wipes are also there, these are pain relief pads soaked with alcohol and other medicine. So, these are available, these pads are good for treating minor scraps, burns and insect brights. We can immediately put this pain relief pads, they disinfect the injury and also ease the pain and itching. In personal hygiene products, they are basically pre moisturized this kind of wipes can be useful when someone doing outdoor job they are actually sweating. So, we can use the personal hygiene pre moisturized pads the wipes can remove dart sweat before they settle into the skin. Sometimes no rinse wipes are used to remove waterproof makeup. So, we do not need any the rinsing. So, that special wipes are also used. So, pet care wipes are also available to clean the eyes, ear and dental. So, dental cleaning pads are also there, they are soaked with different chemicals, household and home cleaning wipes are also there. So, kitchen wipes, bathroom wipes, food service wipes, glass surface cleaning wipes, automotive car care wipes. So, these are different types of wipes, but their structure should be different depending on the type of the fluid absorption capacity required and depending on the type of dust and darts present. So, industrial wipe there are different types of industrial wipes. In earlier days we used to use the old cloths, their main functions are 
degreasing and machinery cleaning. So, when it comes to industrial ap application choosing the right wipes for right job is important. So, rags laundered cloth were once used for all purpose wipes for industrial application, but nowadays specialty industrial wipes are available for cleaning particular for a particular application. So, these are different types of wipes. So, we have discussed in short the, the hygiene products where textiles can be used. Thank you.